Romantic performer. Romantic performer. Romantic performer. Well, that explains a lot. Well, I think many of us can agree that most movies today are pretty forgettable. And I think there's one major reason for this. It's not so much about plot, it's really about character. Uh, the characters in these films today just are not memorable, they're not interesting, they don't really have any true motivations. And that's because these characters are not really being written by artists, they're being written by focus groups and uh, people at the corporate level are the ones that are creating these characters. Now, if you want to talk about uh, storytellers who create great characters, just look at the films of the Coen brothers, uh, Big Lebowski, for example. Every single character in that film is memorable. You can quote lines uh, from the characters. I mean, everything from uh, you know Walter to Lebowski himself to Sam Elliott's character, even with a cameo. I mean, of course, the dude and uh, Jesus, you know, with his bowling, and even uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character. It's there's so much richness to their personalities that when you think about it, the movie's really not about the plot. The plot's pretty crazy and nonsensical. I remember when I first saw Raising Arizona, um, you know, the two brothers, once again, the John Goodman character, and of course, uh, Nicolas Cage's character, they're all just so distinct and memorable. Even the guy that drives the motorcycle, uh, Smalls, the bounty hunter, is so it's such a rich interesting character where did he come from there's sort of a mystery behind him but they just understand how to grab an audience and pull them into their world using strong characters so when you compare character to plot i think character is actually far more important there's a reason francis mcdormand won an oscar for fargo um, you know, and of course, William H. Macy, Steve Buscemi, all these characters are just so interesting and rich. Now, Fargo had a, a definite plot. It was based on a real event, but um, it's the characters that make the movie memorable, okay? So, and I think the problem with most movies today is they're strictly plot-driven. This happens, then that happens, and then this event leads to that event, and there's little regard or attention paid to, are the people involved in this plot even interesting? Do I even care about these people? You know, I also came across this um, older article about why post-millennial movies are so bad. And of course it talks about, you know, movies uh, from early 2000s and, and, and uh, prior that are, you know, classics. And of course they do mention a lot of things like lack of uh, the pacing's wrong, there's too much editing, you know, the cinematography's all over the place, you know, lighting, uh, the, chore the action's over choreographed, of course improper use of CGI, that's a big one. I, I think CGI's ruining movies today. Um, boring musical scores, I agree with that. Um, when's the last time you heard a musical score that you actually remembered? You know, wh where's, the, uh, where's the next Superman theme? Where's the next Star Wars theme? Where's the next Back to the Future theme? We don't have any. Um, you know, of course, bad casting, you know, all this stuff, dumb heroes, and that's probably where some of the, um, the character issues, they don't really mention uh, poorly written characters other than dumb heroes. So I agree all these things are problems, but really when it comes down to storytelling, if your characters are not sympathetic, interesting, and engaging for the audience, you're done. You're done. It's not going to work. So I'm in the middle of writing the script for War Party, and that's why I'm thinking really strongly about characters, trying to make them interesting, and just want to share with you um, one of the techniques that I use when creating characters, and I think it's something any writer could use as a tool, and it is a book called The Road Back to You. It's all about the Enneagram um, sort of breakdown of personality, uh, and you can do this for yourself, but it's also great when you're coming up with characters. I'll show you the different types they have. They have uh, the Challenger, the peacemaker, the perfectionist, the helper, the performer, the romantic, and we have the investigator, the loyalist, the enthusiast. Now, what it'll do, it'll it'll give you sort of your your what you what you are, your number one, and then your number two, sort of like your major and your minor of your personalities. Uh, you can see where I've highlighted 
things in the book. Uh, I am a, a, a romantic, uh, number one. Of course, being an artist, that makes sense. So is Tim Burton. And I am a performer, number two. Um, that makes sense as well, because I've uh, been involved heavily in theater and, and uh, vocal and acting performing over the years. And I like an audience. So um, check this out. Um, you can use it as a guideline for creating characters. And it really, really helps add depth and motivation because you can always fall back on it whenever you you get stuck and you think well, what would this character do in this situation uh, this book goes a long way to giving you sort of a springboard a guideline so definitely check this out it's it's a great uh, it's a great reference be sure and check out my book war party i'm about to unlock the forty thousand dollar stretch goal which is going to give the uh, the backers another 20 pages of story. That's like a whole nother comic book. Uh, this series is going to be great. I'm very excited about how it's going and uh, going to be fulfilling the first three issues uh, in July and finishing up the last three issues in, in a separate fulfillment. So be sure and check it out on Indiegogo, and I will talk to you later. Everything changed when war reached the Americas. Caught between the French and the British, my family paid the price. Only my darling Sarah survived. They took her away. We couldn't save them, but we will save her. Five men against thousands, how can it be done? But we are not merely men. War has brought out the beast in us all. And we will have our vengeance, for we are the War Party.